Okay guys, I know you're busy and I really do like to try and keep these trainings as short as possible. So, I'm just going to jump straight into it. This is the FCS Networker together with Browsio Synergy Video. Just how beautiful they work together as well. Um, and what I'm going to do first is, right, so, you know, a lot of you have already got Gmail accounts connected to it. You can just go ahead and open up a uh, an account using the actual pre-created emails that it comes with which is awesome so you just need to kick start and it'll create um, all those accounts for you and you don't even need to hit you know get any emails in there but the problem with that is as soon as you're done with creating these accounts these emails die you have to use phone verification and their yahoo accounts and then you're limited you're going to start phone verifying yahoo accounts because really you want to, if you're going to phone, ver phone verify anything you you phone verify your your gmail accounts right so and then you can you know hopefully use those emails across all your all, all that 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 entire profile which is the idea um so the point is, if you're using these pre-created accounts, they're going to get banned very quickly and they're going to be random information. If you just want accounts just to get stuff up there and real quick links, then this is awesome and, and do that. But if you want to get a little bit more custom, this is how I do it. So I'm not going to auto-verify emails. I'm going to just use the proxies because I'm going to give it to my my VAs to auto-verify the emails because this is for, um, I, I want to keep things very, very clean here. And I want all the accounts to be working. Okay, so if... Okay, so if you want to actually auto-verify the accounts and you just want the email to just go through and you can do that and you don't have a VA to do it for you, so you just need to go to type in Google. Less secure apps. Okay, and that should bring you here, my account security. And there is going to be a, a little button, a toggle button that will just enable secure apps to just access it here, allow less secure apps. So that's off right now. So if you want to use that, so now you can. Now that it's on, it allows less secure apps. And I'm not going to do that, but if you want to, you can put your information in here, the email ssl995pop.gmail, whatever it is, and you'll be good to go as because you've done that. So if you want to use, if you want to phone verify, if you, I mean, sorry, if you want to just let um, FCS Networker do the verifications using Gmail, so just make sure to tick this, okay? Um, so jump back to the server. Nope. Let me get back here. Let me grab the information. Here's the project information, and we're going to put it here grab the email and just for speed purposes I'm gonna let it auto generate user data um, you want to get you can you can get really you know picky over here and make the information really relevant to your niche which is what I would do I would get a whole bunch of different usernames and customize that but you know you don't have to you can get your VA to do that afterwards which is what I'm gonna do so for now, it's just all relevant, whatever stuff. The usernames are going to be, you know, whatever. The usernames are fine. The usernames don't really have to be keyword related. Some of them will be used as titles. So it would be worthwhile sitting down and, and for each niche you're in or market you're in, just going and putting, you know, something with a related keyword in there. It's entirely up to you and how much time and effort. But listen, for the purposes of this video and for purposes of speed, I'm just going to leave everything as is. Just use the auto-generate data, which is fine. Okay, now we want to select all of the accounts. We want to grab that proxy, go back into the proxy settings here, and just switch out that proxy there. Paste that proxy in. So now we have the same proxy that we're creating accounts on, is the same proxy that our Gmail is on, and it's the same proxies that we're going to go back and customize them on with our get our VA to customize them and that's it you're good to go you just hit start and we've got to make sure to have just use proxies and auto upload that's all I'm doing you can auto verify emails but you have to go in and do the verify settings and then just start and that's it and it's gonna go out and start creating these accounts using the Gmail account that we already have created and already phone verified and it's going to, and they'll start appearing in here. So you can get your VAs to just, you know, you send them this project, send them the project and get your VAs to do the verifications and, and customizations. And here you go, edit your profile. Just click on that. 
all the cookies are going to be in there when you transfer it over to your VA. So chances are they won't even have to log into any of these accounts. And if they do, there's going to never be a problem. As we all know, that's the whole point. The beauty of, of Browsio is that, you know, you get to transfer all of this secure information, all of the cookies in the cache amongst your, you know, your the people who are doing the account creation and people who are doing the posting and then the managing. So it's always on the same IP. You never, you never get banned. Um, unless you're just being really, really naughty and stupid. So, so that's it. Okay, that that's how we work with the FCS networker. Now you just need to go and 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 listen, and you can just verify them yourself. I mean, you just it's depends on how much time and how many accounts you're creating and what you're doing. I mean, that's all you need to do. You know, if you're working with VAs, this is what you do. You just send them the project. Go and get onto the server. Get those accounts created. And then what you do is that. After you've actually created these accounts, you will then import them. So this is one that we had created earlier on. All these accounts in there, right? So now that all of these have been created, what you want to do is you want to import all of that, the username and the information into Browsio. Okay, and this is how we do this, okay? So we're going to get onto the server and... I'm not sure where I remember if, if this is the current one or the old ones. Let me just have a look what that's going to bring up. That's brought just the current ones. So I need to... Where are the folder? I can't remember where the folders are. Hang on a second. I'm just going to hit hit pause, I think, and come back when I found the folder with the old with the last account that I created with this information here. Okay, just a sec. Okay, so we have got the, uh, here's the account, Billy Harding, that's the one. And these are all the accounts that were created using the FCS Networker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open, copy that, and hopefully I'll be able to paste that into this document with the server configuration. Yes, it's worked. Okay, and then just save that. And I'm going to put that in to, where is it? FCS, FCS stuff, where is it? Um, browser integrations, let's just do it, FCS. Okay. And then this was Billy. Harding. Harding. Okay. And that's that. Now, what we want to do here is we're in this profile. This is Billy Hart. This is all the accounts. Now, we want to go here, import bookmarks, hit FCS. Okay. And browser integrations, FCS. It was Billy Harding. And we're going to name that. This was the blogs. So, we're going to say, um, actually, no, this is all. Billy H. FCS all so it's all the blogs and the socials in there and there you go added that folder and look what we've got we've got all of this here right and the best part about all of this is after all of that's done each one of these has got the username and password connected to it so it's not just a bookmark it's actual username and password so that you can log in so I'm going to show you here so we've got angel fire so let's go to Angel Fire here. Where's Angel Fire? So we've gone to Angel Fire. It's taking you to the actual blog, right? So it's saved the blog, whatever the it saves in uh, in um, FCS. That's where it's going to take you to with Angel Fire Site Builder. Okay, so now let's log in. Oh, what is this going on here? <laughs> okay, right. Let's just get out of there for a second and go to the main Angel Fire home page. And what I just want to show you is I'm going to hit CP on top here, and it's going to be the Angel Fire information. So look. Proxy is acting up. And when that happens, by the way, you just need to refresh, and, and, and you'll be okay. That's, that's just generally what happens. Okay, so I'm actually logged in already here so but here let me just show you with the cp on top if i was lo let's uh, these sites with all their advertising let's log out and 
Nazi Think Able Gun 909. That's the username for this one. We're just logging out, and I'm going to log back in just for demonstration purposes, just to show you that this now is all related to this site. So this is going to be this Angel Fire site information. I don't know if it's going to allow it to actually, if the login will work, because it's very weird. So let's try the login. Yeah, so there you go. Think Able Gun 909. Let's CP on top of it. Think Able Gun 909. There is the password. And that's it. And you just need to log in. It's probably not because sometimes with the what happens is sometimes when you use the auto form filler, some sites don't like it. So if they don't like it and it doesn't allow you to log in, you need to log that and then just come back and try it with the CP on top and then you'll be able to log in. See, like right now it has allowed you to log in, so that's fine. Then and it worked the auto form filler and each site you could log in here. Look at the edit. You can have it's got its own custom information from each site. Okay, so when you come to it, it knows because you've imported it and it knows exactly what the username and the password is. Right. So blog I go. Remember blog I go. You got to actually have this is why because a lot of the sites they use your um, you have to you, you can't. You, this is why they don't work is you have to get them to manually um, manually. You have to manually do it like blog I go. They give you a different password. You have to go in, change the password to your current password or whatever you want it to be. OK, so that's it, guys. I know it went on a little bit longer than I wanted it to, um, but I think I pretty much covered everything there. So each time when you go from one site to another, you hit CP on top, it's going to bring you the information for that site. So you just log in with that information because you've imported it via the FCS importer. OK, and and then when you do the form filler, like you just saw when we were able to log straight into Angel Fire with no problem because we did the form filler. And, and you just use, I would always use the form filler first. If that doesn't work, then CP on top. That's what it's meant for. First the form filler, then CP on top. All right, guys, that's it for now. I'm going to stop the video. I'm going on too much. Peace.